Hi everyone, I hope you are doing well. So today I have these four containers, one, two, three, four, and they have the Dwarf Alberta Spruce that I planted a few years ago. And um, I had the Creeping Jenny in them and they survived for about three, four years. But last year, almost all of them died except the one, I don't know if you can see that, that's the one right there. So here's a closer look of the one lonely planter that has that one creeping jenny that survived. And for those of you that don't know, creeping jenny, it's actually, um, you know, a perennial for us because um, they actually survive for me in ground and also in containers. So that's pretty amazing. So all of the four containers, you can kind of see that they have the seedlings of the calabracoas that I uh, planted from seed. Um, now the soil, however, in the containers, um, there's still the old soil that I planted the Alberta spruce in, I think, ooh, I forget, uh, maybe three years ago. So what I normally do is um, I add a couple inches of uh, compost, fresh compost that is on top of the containers once I planted all of the plants. And then I feed them a little bit of the fertilizer that I normally use for the annuals. And then I go in and I feed the uh, plants with the water soluble version of the same thing every 10 to 12 days or so. So here's what I have. The one container that has that one lonely survival, the Creeping Jenny, I'm gonna plant the other same Creeping Jenny on the other side of the container. And for the other three containers, look what I've got. This is so exciting because I have never planted this before. Um, this one is the Silver Falls Dichondra. Look at that lovely blue, silver in color. Now, I think these were kept in the greenhouse in a much shady area. So they haven't been getting that full sun. So that's why that silver uh, blue color hasn't kind of shown through yet. But I think once I have these planted in my containers, and they are exposed to full sun, they should be showing off. They're beautiful blue green color. And for those of you that know me, I love anything that's bluish green color tone. So I think these are gonna be beautiful. Now I did, um, well, I was kind of thinking of planting all of them with this color, but um, I felt bad about removing the other Creeping Jenny. So I thought, you know, I'm gonna try three and see how it goes. And if I really truly like it, next year I will plant all of them with the same variety. So anyhow, let me get myself started and uh, film all of this with you today. And for those of you that are not familiar with these uh, sort of foliage plants, the Creeping Jenny um, grows to about two inches, but it does drape over the side of the container and that's why I love it. And because I plant it in full sun, it actually has a beautiful sort of a greenish uh, yellow color, which I really lo love. And this, however, is probably best in a shady area, but it does also well in part sun. But like I said, I plant it in full sun and that makes it that sort of uh, bleach yellow yellow color which I really love. Now this one like I said I've never planted before and it does grow two to six inches and it does like full sun to part sun. So I cannot wait to see how this will do in the containers and hopefully they will be um, also um, hardy in the container and come back next year for me. Well the fingers crossed I hope that's gonna happen. So I don't know if you can see this, but uh, some of these Alberta spruce uh, are planted, uh, were planted a little low for me. And I think because I have many of these plants underneath, I wanna be able to have room for them to grow and fill in the container. So what I th I'm thinking of doing is cut away some of the low lay, uh, lying branches so that I can kind of expose the bottom a little bit more. See, like this one here, I think that looks a little bit better, but I do have some branches that I think I need to clean up. I think of uh, the four that I have, this one has the most, uh, you know, empty space in the bottom, but I still do have some branches to clean up there as well.
so I just finished planting everything. I did also go ahead and give it a little bit of a dilute water soluble fertilizer as well. So anyhow, I hope to have great results to show you in a few weeks or so. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you all next time. Take care everyone. Bye bye for now.